The story for this serial is... The Doctor, Ian, Barbara, and Susan land on a spaceship orbiting a distant and mysterious world where a human crew lies frozen somewhere between life and death. The planet is the Sensphere, home of the Sensorites, beings of immense intelligence and power. Unable to leave, the, doctors, the Doctor and his companions must deduce the Sensorites' intentions. Are they friendly, hostile, or frightened? And what is the deadly secret at the heart of the Sensphere? This one was an interesting one, one to me. At first, there is a story similar to the first Alien movie. We have people on a ship in the middle of space, and there are aliens on board attacking people. Except this time, the, al the aliens, or sensorites, are not killing the people. They are actually just preventing them from believing, in fear that they will return to Earth and will come back with worse. This part of the serial was not really scary, for the sensorites, like I said, were not killing anyone. But I did enjoy it, for it did remind me of Alien the whole time. But the mystery of the Sensorites kept one interested until they talked and get to the plot, uh, get the plot moving and the and to the Sensphere, the Sensorite planet. Then once we get to the Sensorite planet, the story becomes a political espionage story that involves a poisoned water supply that is purposely being poisoned by humans who thought they were at war, and we also get a corrupt Sensorite politician who kills others to gain a higher position and will do anything to protect the Sensorite population and even kill for it. This part of the serial was the most interesting to me, for it kept the plot moving, had good suspense, and some good tw twists throughout. The Sensorites themselves were a nice design, but I did find their flat, round feet funny. It kind of redefined the term flat foot. This serial was based on a World War II film that the writer of the serial, Peter R. Newman, wrote titled Yesterday's Enemy, and this serial is similar to Yesterday's Enemy in many ways. Just as a side note, I wanted to point out that in this uh, this in the, in one episode of this serial, the doctor co the doctor's coat gets ruined, and so the sensorites give him a cloak, and the doctor says that Bo Brummel said that he would look good in a cloak. Bo Brummel is a man who who established the mode of dress for men, and in and his style of dress is often referred to as dandyism. This to me marks the, the beginning of the third Doctor, whom is referred to as the dandy the dandy Doctor, who always wore these flashy suits, capes, and cloaks, and frilly shirts. I give this serial three stars. After a little, uh, in the end of the serial, after a little tinkering at the TARDIS console, the Doctor and his companions travel back to Earth, to the Doctor's favorite period of time on Earth, the beginning of the French Revolution. <laughs>